I think it's incredible what's happening. You're talking about North Korea? It's amazing the way the media, who are you with? With France 24. With who? France 24. France. So it's amazing the way the media says that, you know, for 80 years they couldn't do a thing. And I'm, what are we, in three months of negotiation? It's ridiculous. Uh, as I've said about a thousand times, you have no rockets flying, you have no missiles flying, you have no nuclear testing. You have nuclear closings, they're closing up different areas of North Korea. Uh, we're getting the remains back, it's already started, of our great heroes. We're, we got our hostages back, and I didn't pay $1.8 billion like the previous administration. We got, I paid nothing. Uh, but I have agreed to meet, and I have agreed to spend time. But how long has it been since we left Singapore? It was uh, three months or so. And people say, that's, that's the media saying, like, how can we be negative? Let's see, he's done really well. How can we be negative? Oh, are you disappointed with the speed? I think the speed is amazing. You have no nuclear tests, you have no rockets, and we have a very good relationship with Chairman Kim, which is very important. Uh, I like him, he likes me, the relationship is good. Uh, Mike Pompeo had a very, very good meeting. I mean, I spoke to him at length yesterday, and uh, he'll be coming back, he'll be back tonight. And so, I mean, just the opposite. I think uh, we've made incredible progress. I, beyond incredible. Beyond it. I don't think the uh, some of the press, I, I miss the, uh, some of the press really covers it accurately and right, but uh, some of the press really doesn't. Yes, John? Do you want to take this opportunity to tell us when your next meeting with King will be and where it will be? Well, it is happening, and we're setting that up right now. That was part of the reason that Mike was going over to meet. Uh, they're setting up the meeting, and um, we'll be announcing that probably a different location. Singapore was fantastic, but we'll probably do a different location. Can you get it tomorrow lot? Uh, he'd probably like that. I'd like that, too. I think it would be good, but uh, uh, we'll see. We're, we're talking about three or four different locations. Uh, timing won't be too far away. We've made locations? a lot of progress, and this meeting really is to, you know, people don't realize the importance of the first meeting. I mean, we said point number one, denuclearization. And for some reason, the press doesn't pick that up. But that was actually point number one. They've agreed to denuclearization. And they continue to agree, and they continue. Now, we haven't removed sanctions, as you know. You know, people said, uh, what have we done? We haven't removed sanctions. We have very big sanctions. I'd love to remove them, but we have to get something for doing it. Any chance the meeting could be on U.S. soil? Well, you know, I don't want to embarrass anybody by asking. I think eventually we're going to have lots of meetings on U.S. soil, and on their soil, by the way. It's just, you know, that's a two-way street, on their soil also. I think that the country of North Korea is going to be a very successful country. I think it's going to be incredibly economically successful. And I want to make it that way. I think it's going to be great. Other countries, other people, entrepreneurs, banks, uh, I will tell you, they're calling, wanting to go there and wanting to invest. At some point, when Chairman Kim makes that decision, I think he's going to unleash something that's going to be spectacular really spectacular. And I think he knows it, and I think that's one of the reasons that we're having very successful conversations. I think he wants to get on with it. Mr. President, when will a successor yes. to Ambassador Haley be named? Excuse me? When will a successor to Ambassador Haley be named? When? Please. When will a successor be named? Oh. I would say we'll name a successor, I don't know, within the next two or three weeks.